Welcome back everybody, just going to play through Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. It's now a new day for me, I've actually got some sleep after getting up for record the first couple of bits of the videos. Um, and yeah, we in Calm we've obviously done the demo and yeah, played some Queen's Blood which was good. Met the team, said in here, and we'll talk about skills then shall we? Hey there, welcome to Magnata Books. I take it this is your first visit to one of our stores. Well, customization can seem tricky to the uninitiated. It takes time and experience to get it right. But I think you'll pick it up quick enough. Let's give it a try. Augmenting folios. Spend skill points at uh, Magnata Books locations and automats to augment your party's folios. That's unlocking powerful latent. Unlocking powers latent in your allies. Unlock a skill cause in a character folio increases their stats or teaches them new abilities, including synergy. Okay. The orange skill cause can be unlocked by spending skill points. Get the cursor over a skill cause to see what it does. Firework Blade. We had that in the demo for the Xenon. That's just Eris Magic to unleash a ranged attack. Press and hold to unlock it. mastered a new synergy ability as you unlock skill cores adjacent cores become available standard stuff you're free to choose which skills to cause to unlock and when adapting a character strength to suit your play increasing the party level creates more skill cores a character will earn sp when they level up or when they acquire manuscripts such as the art of sword play unlock skill cores can be reset any time and the sp spent will be returned so feel free to experiment that is the way it should be skim the surface believe you me there's much more to this than meets the eye it may not seem like it yet but you'll see oh back for more okay wish i'd done this this punch my strong attack by five percent Max HP. At least a win magic attack without expending MP. Effect chain attack. Learn its ability to strengthen wind material spells. Relentless rush. Wow, okay. Temporary th three charge ATB gauge. Iron defense sounds really good. Chris overcharge damage by 5%. We're going to go for this one. I should probably. have done this to unlock this stuff but don't mind getting these keeper bounty for leap into the air delivering spinning attack temporary unlimited mp soaring flurry and heavenly ascent so temporarily unlimited mp Make use of Eris Magics to deal damage across a wide area. Limit level increase. Ask your partner to defend for you while you move about the field. That's MP by three. Let's go for this one. And red overfang. <laughs> Pretty good. Charge forward while guarding. I've got to go for this one, overfang, surely. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, so you got abilities and skills. We're back at Cloud. Okay. Have a good one. All right, let's head towards the clock tower. Uh, is there a way up here? Wasn't there a ladder? Yes. I presume it's up here. Cloud, over here. Let's get started then, shall we? All right. Again, need to check to make sure there's no chests or anything. Oh man, the game just looks so good though. See anything? I think Midgar's this away. Should be, yeah. Funny, isn't it? How small it looks. It is far away. So, did something happen between you and Tifa? Hmm? Don't look so shocked. We're roommates, you know. She say something? Not about you two, no. Still, I can tell. I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Don't take her for granted. Let's go. Huge tips. Convenient fireman's pole. Let's get the battles going, shall we? Okay.
got to be a shortcut or something. Sword is very shiny. I heard about the reactor bombings in Midgar. That was you, wasn't it? It's okay. I'm on your side. I've got a contact at HQ. The one with Avalanche? Not exactly. Scott, I'll keep the troopers occupied. While we're talking, you two go up and over. Ah, lovely. May I ask what's going on? We're searching for some fugitives. Have you seen anyone suspicious? Well, that you mentioned. Well, that might happen. Though perhaps it was just my imagination. Oh, was it? Oh, the lava. Get out of here. Wait, wait. I know I saw some people who had a Nice. Well, this certainly wasn't in the OG. Can we stop crouching now, though, please? I'm coming. That went well. The inn's not much further. But stay on your toes. Transmuter converts raw materials into more practical items. A Republic antique, but it still works. You'll get more use out of it than me. Nice. Why are you doing this? Could have just turned us in. So before I change my mind, we better get going. Well, thank you, kind sir. Obviously, the transmuter, to, uh, a transmuter, was something we had in the Junon demo. Uh, can't look at that just yet. Uh, we will look at it though. Be on the safe side. You can now transmute items and armor, and armor, using the materials from. Broden, try creating a potion. Currently transmute items are listed here. Increasing your craftsmanship and acquiring transmuted chips will expand the range of items you can create. Here are the materials and necessary amounts for the selected item. Here you can see the requirements for transmuting a potion. Some sage and a planet's blessing. Transmuting an item for the first time grants XP, which increases your craftsmanship. Be sure to create new items whenever you get the chance. Nice. But through transmutation, you can keep supplies topped up without needing to buy items from the vendor. Materials can be found out in the field or in chests and again through combat. There's also items that can only be attained via transmutation. Nice. Let's get going. Down and out. 
There they are. You made it. All in one piece? Sorry, we're late. For the love of where the hell have you two been? On a date. Kind of. What? <laughs> well, that was the last one. At least till things calm down. And I select my party now. That's no, okay. So we're going to be checking corners and everything. Ah, load screen. Where to now? Where there's a draft. This way. Looks like a job for me. We got a chest. Three sprigs of laurel. You know I'm going to be doing this every time we come in. Sprigs of laurel. Okay. For antidotes and smelling salts. Wake someone up and cure poison and cure silence. Which your Barrett's uh, just big enough to fit through, or slim enough to get through that. Let's head on out. Wow. Yes, indeed. Wow. Choosing your party, adjust your party battle from the combat screen, a settings screen in the main menu. Create up to three preset parties to swap between while exploring the world. Open the commands menu and press L1 or R1 to switch parties. Press the middle to open the map and get your bearings. Story markers are those, discovery markers are those, will be automatically added to the map. You can place your own pin by pressing R3. 
But now, head towards the farm Broad and spoke of marked in the star. Okay. Cocoon's fifth iterator. Okay. First of all, let's get not item transmutation. Let's, yeah, we'll keep that party. It's got the girls, okay. We'll start with the br this team, I think. So you've got poison and precision defense. Don't have many other, I well, have no other abilities. Give you that. Stores HP when activating a vengeance mode. Increases wind damage. Sure. Makes it harder to be interrupted while using overdrive or HP. Go HP. Increased duration of unbridled strength. Increased attack power, unbridled strength, active with a 5% boost at Chi level 1 and 10% at Chi level 2. Cool. Transmuting materials. If you ever need a specific material, take note of the symbol as it may point you in the right direction. Obtained in the world. Dropped by enemies, hard to come by. What they said was in here. Grasslands. Okay. Finally, let's take a look at the map then. So we need to come over here. Obviously, we're going to explore the world map. That doesn't seem to be textured very well, so I'm not going to be able to get over there. Right, we've got our first enemy. It's triple slash here. Nice. That was decent. Keep seeing the Mako sprites. Thinking that they're items. I'm gonna head over to that shack, I think. Grab this. Man, this game is absolutely beautiful, though. Nothing up here. It'll be interesting to see how far in the distance you can see items that need picking up. You know what that metal monstrosity is, don't you? It's a pipeline. Moves Mako pumped in Midgard to the outlying towns and whatever else. <laughs> you call it a pipeline. <laughs> Genius one. 
and unique berries. Oh, come on! Didn't actually catch what you said. Too busy fighting. Another enemy down there. We'll go and do it. Level up. Can we get in? Door is locked. Okay. Probably get a key for that at some point. Thorin's card shop, hey? Yes, that's where we have to go. Can't get over there just yet. I'm guessing eventually we'll be able to explore all of this area. Head over here. Should we be worried about those things? We're fine. How can you be so sure? Because I've read the field guide. Like any good soldier, local wildlife will only attack while on the hunt or in defense of their territory. Fiends, on the other hand, attack without reason. If they're attacking, what does it matter? It matters if your nose can discern their intent before they attack, as I gather yours can. Okay, let's head over here. Can we swim? We can. Expecting something from here. Just don't want to miss anything, really. Okay. Let's attack these things. Stagger bonus. Enemies have been staggered. I left defenseless to take more damage. Broken stagger foes with triangle unique abilities will quickly fill your ATP charge. Now to unleash devastating skills to finish off your opponents. And summons, yeah. Medals. Man, this is massive. There's Megar. Okay. Right, so I need to head there. Obviously we're not going that way. It's 
So anything we can transmute. Can transmute an antidote, so let's do it. I, this item now requires few materials. Craftsmanship. We can do Miss Potion Phoenix Draft. We need this. Oh, ginger root. I need some numerous ashes. Okay. We can get up here. Let's bring the boys out to play. How Barrett climbs these, I don't know. go in the cave. I would guess not. No. Fair enough, that's Choco dude over there. We're at 32 minutes. We'll do the exploration, I think. This place is huge. Can't just drop. Okay. So, just need to explore. Good little hall area. Okay. Exploiting enemy weaknesses. Use assess on an enemy to reveal its element weaknesses. Yeah. Abilities. Assess. Weakness, fire, and ice. Good. So we're gonna head back this way just because. Town still crawling with troops. We should keep our distance for now. Okay. Yeah. So that's not a option. We're not allowed to explore this area. Oh, 
Japan. It's just so good. And visually, it's impressive as well. I don't think we can climb up here. No. Just so much more alive. Why hey, would there be a treasure chest here, though? That's the. It would have been pillaged moons ago. Looking for more resources than anything. That's the swamp. Okay. Got anything else? Can get a mist potion. We we'll need numerous ashes, beast talons. Should probably get some more of that. Tell me what a mixed uh, restores 350 HP and MP. Okay. See if we can spot anything. Okay. I think we're heading towards Chocobo. You know the game well. If you don't, then oh. apologies. Let's get these guys first. Successor. Hitting them with powerful attacks will make them flinch and try and dive them out of their burrows. That was good. Muse, man. Right, we got... Yeah, let's just head up here. It's that that we're seeing. Which I can't get to just yet. I just can't believe how beautiful this game looks. Um, right, should we give the girls a run out? And we'll go as Tifa. I think. Uh, give you Leviathan. Who have you got? Tifa. for it. We might have Ramu then. Stores 20% of HP of damage taken. Okay.
Let's... Don't come base attacks. Increase combo counts. And I'm whirling uppercut to be followed by Omni Strike, then Rise and Fall. If that's what you want to use. I'm going to put this as Chakra. Can I... Could get them to do assess. Wow, okay. You can just set your party's ones. Even you deliver a powerful strike. Go strike chakra. Okay. It's not what I meant to do. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. Let's get Yeah. No time to celebrate. Yeah, it's gonna take me a bit of time to get used to him, that's what we got to. Are you broken? Resting at choke it stops. While well, many chakra shops built in the days of the Republic fall into disrepair, the benches are mostly intact. So if you use a cushion, you can sit down and rest. I uh, don't think we need to. Because I've sold quite a few, so I just need to make sure they're good. Can you not pick this up? Okay. Alright, let's push on up here. Just investigating. That's some of them. We've already fought them. Chocobo stables. Grab this. And if we can get up there. Well, that's a chest then. We can't get up. Emerald. Been to that shack. Okay. I think that is literally where we need to be. We'll head up. It's just the draw distance of this stuff I'm trying to keep an eye on. But even just the verticality of the, the map. You know, it's not flat. 
It's quite easy. They could have just made that flat, but they didn't. Windmill Settlement. That's locked. Why would we come up here? Uh, just go back to OG. Do like using Tifa and Barrett though. Red need to get used to. I think out of them all, Aerith is the one I struggled with the most. Is that potion? Okay. Yeah, it's just like... Yeah, the draw distance didn't pick that up when I was at the top. This place is huge. To me, that feels like the Chocobo Ranch. It's not. I think that is just there. Yeah, draw distance is okay on them, I guess. But it's slightly bigger. But it is what it is. This feels like where we need to go. You're going to store your life savings out the back? You are not. Right, we need to stop there, ladies and gents. So we're going to call this one apart, so please like, comment, subscribe, and look at stuff that really does help me out. So there'll be some more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth coming away shortly. And I'll see you all in the next one.